so the first thing you're going to be doing is sharing the photo you want to draw to procreate then it's going to automatically import the photo to your procreate interface so after you've imported it go to your canvas and crop and resize then change the dpi to 350 so as to get a high resolution for your paintings so this is a very nice tip for um, adding quality to your drawings so after you're done with that you can reduce opacity then you can slow down the video if you think i am going very fast so then you add a new layer so after you add, you add a new layer which is the second layer which is our layer 2 then you change the color to black color so after changing the color to black color then you select a pencil any pencil you want to use to sketch me i'm i'm presently going to be using my um, special procreate pencil is uh, free for downloads you can check the link in the description box to download my sketching brush and my painting brush as well so i'm using my fine sketch brush to trace over the silhouette of the dog so this is just practically what we are going to be doing for now so just trace over the silhouette the edges of the dog just trace over the edges of the dog if you want it to be super minimalistic then um, you don't need to actually trace the strands the hair strands of the dog you can just um draw it whatever way you want to draw it but to give it a more refi a more uh, hairy detail at, by uh, at the edge then you can just simply draw the hair strands by the edge of the silhouette so just draw the hair strand if you want to give it a bit of details that uh, signifying that there is a hair around the dog the edges of the dog so yeah but if you want to go very simple and minimalistic you don't need to do that so if you're done with the tracing of the edges what you're going to be doing next is you are still going to be tracing the inner part of the the sketch the inner part of the dog but before then you are going to be changing our layer mode to reference so this reference mode helps us to automatically fill the whole of the sketch as far as the sketch is not having any spaces you will be able to fill up the sketch automatically so we are going to proceed with sketching what i'm practically doing right now is i'm going to be sketching out what uh, i'm going to be sketching out um every like segment of color that is on the dog so the dog has been categorized into different color there is black there is brown there is um so there there is uh, there are colors on the on the dog so we are going to only trace the colors and connect them to the border lines which is the edge of the the edge of the sketch the the edge of the dog sorry the the that's the border line so we are going to be connecting everything to the border line just make sure you you yeah you can just practically indicate that there is a hairy uh, something hairy over there as you can see i'm doing a zigzag or yeah i'm just doing a zigzag sketch it mustn't be perfect you can since you are going for something minimalist you don't need to like give it more detail just i'm just indicating that there's some there's a hair over there so then you just make sure you just sketch the area in which there is a there's the black color then you can still cycle and sketch the area in which there is brown same thing goes to the pink same thing goes to all other colors so yeah you can sketch the eyes as well you can make sure you sketch the eyes carefully because drawing the eyes is somehow tricky most especially if when the eyes is not clear so 
if you're having hard times you're sketching the eyes just take your time to sketch it well and yeah as i've said um we are going to be tracing over every color on the um on the dog so as to just use the reference option because it helps us fill up um automatically fill up every lines connected to each other it's going to help us fill those colors effortlessly so make sure your lines are connected so that you can be able to use the reference option um the reference layer option to actually fill those colors effortlessly So now we are done with tracing over the dog. What we are going to be doing, make sure your reference um, option is turned on. Then you go to the next layer, um, which is our layer 3. Then what we are going to be doing is we are going to be selecting um, our colors, then just filling up our colors on every layer. But before then, make sure you keep a side to side comparison. Um, a reference of your dog so as to get the actual color correctly unless you want to alter um, a different color from the original color I would advise you to keep your reference by the side so you are just simply going to be drag dragging the colors and dropping 
you're just going to be dragging and dropping dragging and dropping make sure you're doing this on a different layer not the sketch layer make sure you're doing this on a different layer and make sure the layer of your sketch has the reference option turned on but for those people that are not using um procreate you can use you can use sketch you can use sketchbook but it's going to be very um diff on a different um you're going to be doing it differently just what you're going to be doing is you're going to be duplicating the sketch then you can fill up your colors using the the sketching layer just duplicate the sketch layer into two then use one layer to fill up your colors then the other one should just be for the reference for referencing so but for this for those people using procreate they don't have issue with that because a reference um, option has been provided so for those using ebs paint x as well you can do the same way um, sketchbook users do as well you just um, duplicate duplicate the layer the sketching layer into two then the one the the, the second sketching layer is going to be for your filling because when you're filling it make sure that the sketches are connected because if there is the space in between the sketch is not going to be filled up appropriate appropriately so make sure the areas the the sketches are connected to each other so as to get a perfect feel yeah guys um sorry for not being active lately i've been busy with work and yeah and so many things and uh, and again i got my apple pencil broken so my apple pencil is broken so i haven't gotten a new one yet so i'm presently using my thumb to do this tutorial so yeah i just thought of doing a tutorial for you guys so as to keep myself updated and keep the my channel updated as well
So now we are done with our painting, we are done with our filling, but if you want to go extra mile to give the uh, minimalist um, minimalist um, painting some details like just a few shadows here and there, you can do that as well. Just select the area you want to apply the shadows, then you apply it same way i am doing over here but make sure the layer of your shadows is different from the layer of your painting so i'm doing this shadow and highlighting on a different layer so but for those who just want to have a simple minimalist um, painting then there you have it you have finally um, seen um, a simple way of doing that so but for those who are extremists and they want to actually perfect the minimalist and give it more depth and more uh, value you can proceed to adding a more gradient feel to the painting so if you have any question make sure you drop it in the comment section sorry um, make sure you drop it in the comment section i'm going to be answering every one of you and yeah if you have anything to discuss with me you can um, dm me in my follow me in my social all all of my social media platforms and you can private chat me you can dm me so that we can discuss so yeah um i will see you in my next video peace